I love Motley Crue, and I always will. I love Vince. I love I love Tommy. I, I know him personally. Uh, never never really met Mick. I've never really been in his his, his graces. And uh, Nikki writes amazing song. I love Vince. Um, I, I think what happened is. Vince was going out there solo and, and driving that Motley Crue catalog into the core of the earth with some of the performances. And let's, if I can be honest, as someone who can, can barely sing, they weren't they weren't the 100% uh, Vince Neil Motley Crue performances that we've we've learned to expect from them. They were deeply subpar karaoke versions of Motley Crue songs. Uh, correct. With, with Slaughter as his backing band. With, with, with Slaughter, with literally the three guys who play in Slaughter. As his backing band. And apparently Dana Strom, did you tell me this? Dana Strom is uh, uh, Vince Neil's assistant. I feel like... Did man, you tell me that? I feel like you told me that. Maybe I told you. you, did you, you I'm you, starting me- to feel like people listening to this show are like <laughs> yelling constantly at their radio that they remember <laughs> things that neither you nor I remember. Well, they tell us in social media, so you're I totally know. right. You're totally right. But So I, I love Motley Crue. I think when Nikki Six, who controls that whole Motley Crue kingdom saw what was happening. And I, the Dirt movie, I don't think the Dirt movie was the thing that moved the needle. I think this. I, I think that's a good excuse to kind of break up the uh, the cessation of touring agreement that well, they now, all made. Hold on, Mark. I read the press release. There's been a groundswell of support from millions yeah. of new Motley Crue fans. Who, a new generation discovered them through the Dirt on Netflix. Yeah. They're streaming and uh, record sales don't really uh, jive with that. But whatever you need to say to break up the cessation of... Remember that big cessation of touring? They, made, they had lawyers. They signed, we will never tour again. Thing. I've always laughed at KISS fans. For giving Gene another chance or the benefit of that, Gene's like the ultimate rock and roll bad boyfriend to right. a fan. And then, <laughs> and then I got Nickied. You I got Nickied. You got Nicky sick. I actually believed when they signed it four ways in in blood, circle jerk, you awesome. know, Indian burn. Right. That it was done. Never again. And you knew, like, there, there's a dynamic in that band that I felt they were done. I don't think they hang out and high five each other all day long. Mark, you know? I watched YouTube videos of. Vince looking nothing like Vince, dressed up like classic Vince, struggling to compose himself to go (laughs) on what was sold to us as the final (laughs) performance of Home Sweet Home. I got verklempt watching that multiple times. You got robbed of your emotion? And Nikki Six has betrayed me.